Hello, for your application project, you are going to need to find an article in the primary literature about your organism. And I'm going to show you how to do that and talk a little bit about what the primary literature is and how you can use it. So the first thing you need to do is find an article. And we're going to do that by going to the school website. So I'm starting here at usd475.org. And I'm going to go to schools, which is down here, and scroll down to Junction City High School. This is our school's website, and we're going to go to the library. Um, on the library page, we need to click on Kansas Online Databases. And you want to use Explora Multi-Search, which is in, it's the top item in this general research menu. So click on Explora Multi-Search, and then you want to type in this box, you want to type in your organism's scientific name. And be super careful because it's very easy to misspell your organism. So I am going to use the Eastern Narrow Mouthed Toad. Its scientific name is Gastrofrin Carolinus, Caro, well, Carolinensis. Don't worry if you can't pronounce your organism's scientific name. It's not going to cause you problems if you can't pronounce it. It will cause you problems if you misspell it, uh, which I'm pretty sure I just did. So I'm just going to type in the genus, the first word in its scientific name, gastro, P-H-R, Y, ah, I left off an P-H-R-Y, <laughs> N-E. And here we go. That worked. That is the Eastern Narrow Mouth Toad. Now, our first unit is about macromolecules, and you're going to want to write your project paper about the diet of your organism. And you need at least one article from the primary literature to, to reference in your paper. You know it's in the primary literature if it has academic journal over here underneath this little icon. So this one is an academic journal, and this one, and I'm just going to scroll down. All of these are academic journals on this page, but sometimes you'll see periodical over here or some other word, and that is not an academic journal, and that won't work. So if it says academic journal, then that will work. Now let's look at what these different articles are about and choose one that has some information in it about the diet of our organism. Sometimes that's going to be easy to spot and sometimes it's not. Um, we're really lucky the Eastern Narrow Mouth Toad has so many articles on this page to choose from. Sometimes you're only going to have two or three articles. It, even if the article is not about the diet of your organism, chances are really good your article will mention the diet of your organism and you will be able to reference it um, anyway. But let's try to choose an article that is relevant for our uses. So this article presents a geographic distribution record for our, our toad. Um, this one is also geographic distribution record. Here we have an article about the decline. Oh, re yeah, reproduction and embryonic development. Um, ant species in the diet of a Florida population of eastern narrow mouth toads. This is perfect. They talk about ant species in the diet. We should have lots of things to reference. So I'm going to click on this. And here is our, our, here is our article. You can download the article here. You can print it if you would like to. They tend to be really long. This one is 13 pages. Um, 
so be be sure you're not printing out 200 pages or anything like that if you if you really want to print. Um, otherwise, you can download it. The way a scientific article, um, a, a journal article, is built, there's an abstract at the start. Usually, there's an introduction after the abstract. Um, then the, this study area isn't isn't is not standard. Sometimes there'll be some extra information underneath the introduction, but not always. Then you'll have a methods or materials and methods section, which describes how they did the research that they did, and you'll have a results section. Sometimes you'll have a discussion or conclusion after the results section. Usually there will be some kind of graphics or graphs or um, tables of data for you to look at. And um, then at the end, you'll there will be a literature cited and sometimes acknowledgments. Occasionally, also at the end, there will be something about um, conflicts of interest, if, if there are any conflicts of interest um, among the people who wrote the paper. The other thing to know is that the language of scientific journals is not simple. They use really big words. The place to start almost always, is the abstract. Scan the abstract and see if you can figure out what the paper is about. Sometimes that's going to be easy. Sometimes it's going to be a little more difficult. And then um, the introduction will also have in information. It will have specific information about your organism, and it will be easier to um, find information to cite. Now, a lot of this information is cited from other journals. Um, you need to find a statement that is that you can use um, in your paper, at least one statement about your organism from this paper. The rest of your paper can be from non-primary resources, but you need to reference a primary resource at least once in your application project. Um, so read through. I would um, take some notes, either on note cards or paper or you can um, copy and paste into an electronic file, but remember, in your final paper, you don't want to you don't want to use word for word anything from an article. You need to paraphrase or quote the article. And I hope this helps you find a, an article in the primary literature that you can use to um, to write your paper.